TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrial Trading up 295. You get the Nasdaq up 91. S&P's up 29. Percentage-wise out here, what you have, folks, is that you have the Dow, Nasdaq, and S&P all up above. Well, the uh, Nasdaq and uh, Dow Industrial is up 1.2%. The S&P's are up 1.1%. Gold contract, gold contract trading flat out here at 12.92. Actually, down five dollars at 12.92. We have silver down four cents, fifteen dollars six cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up a one forty one sixty one dollars fifty five cents a barrel. And that looks like uh, it's going to uh, try to make that run uh, to uh, sixty four sixty five. Been trying to get over this uh, $60 level for about two weeks right now. Notes and bonds, you get the 10 year note down 19.6, 123.19, 30 year bond off a point and a half at 148.07. And yeah, you get some price going downtown, but guess what, folks? Bottom line, it's a normal uh, pullback in a market that's already broken higher. And what you're going to see out here is that we take a look at the 10 year. 10 years pulling back in, with 1.5 million contracts versus 2.5. Uh, the bottom of that, uh, where we broke topside from, uh, is that stats, well, finishes at uh, 123.10. Gets all the way down to 122.32. If we go take a look at the 30-year, uh, same type of setup inside the 30-year right now. 30 years down a point and a half, which no doubt is a big number. Uh, you're down with 285,000 contracts traded, and that being said, what you're looking at out here is that that baby is going into 540,000 contracts. So what we've done is this. You broke topside. You broke over the January 3rd highs. You have the volume over the highs. You're pulling back into the breakout area. Bottom line, you can expect you're going to see higher prices once again, lower yields. King dollar. King dollar out here. Uh, this has been... Uh, staying at highs uh, for quite some time, still over the February high. The February high out here is 96,685. Uh, now you get anemic volume, but the bottom line is that it's over that price. It's in its higher range, and that's saying, guess what? You can go up and test uh, or get up into this high from March 7th, which is 97,160. And still, what is pushing the dollar around, no doubt, is. The pound and the pound went higher today. The euro, however, the uh, euro is laying at its lows. The, the euro uh, is at 112.12, and anything under 112.16, uh, saying you could really get a, a good breakdown going here. To recap out here, we have the Dow Industrials up 293, NASDAQ up 91, SP's up 29. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.